did some shopping today on Gumtree. Done pretty well. I don't know whether you can see that. Hey, gonna do a beer review. Had a good day today actually, I'll tell you a short story. Went shopping. Um, you see just up here behind me, uh, 350 litre uh, stainless steel barrels, 25 bucks a pop. Like had a shitload of them, he was getting rid of them. So I um, saw them on Gumtree, which is like a, an eBay site sort of thing in Australia. And uh, picked them up for 25 bucks a pop, so that's the beginning of my home system. I'll add some footage of them sitting in the boot. Um, and also got a, a shitload of stuff here on the table, which I'll take a shot of later. Two taps, a um, couple of couplers for kegs of that size, which is odd because you know I'm not going to be able to use them, or I might at some point in the future. But good to have. Um, and this little bit, bloody CO2 regulator. Uh, like I said, a couple of taps, a ah. couple of couplers. Taps. Uh, apparently, um, used to work at a pub and uh, go out of these. So, just looking at all this stuff. So, I picked up all of this for 20 bucks, which I was quite happy with. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Do a beer. I'll uh, potentially add some more footage to this later. But, beer, pretty boring probably. It's a uh, Duval Belgian Golden Ale. I've never tried it. So, I'm going to give it a shot. Now, I am not much for judging beers. And quote the old saying. I don't know, I've got another one. That smells all right, jeez. Poor. Using the glasses, I haven't done, done the... Um, jeez, that's a lot lighter than I expected it to be, I'll tell you that. I'm not even sure about... There's the uh, thing, I'm not even sure about this. Oh, yeah, sediment at the bottom of that, so... Fermented in the bottle, so there you go. 8.5%, I wasn't expecting that either, but here we go. It smells, it smells lagerish, to be honest with you, for whatever that means. Uh, it smells like, uh, like a dart or a bit burger. Lovely smell. I can already, we're looking forward to the, uh, the bitterness. Well, there it is. That's um, that's astounding. That's um, uneducated palate, but you know, I would expect that um, if somebody bought that for me in a glass in a pub and asked me, I would say that was a lager. That's um, bloody nice. Crisp, it's clean, it's sharp. Sweet. Not much in the, I can't pick up much in the way of malt flavor. But nice beer. Anyway, this is just a, a filler. Um, I'll uh, piece together something later on. I've got to wash a bunch of my cornies over there. I've got. Uh, Three and a half barrels we've got to get out of the ferment out of the fermenters and um so 60 70 litres. So for for the Imperial guys it would be what, what 10, 15, 16 gallons, maybe 17 gallons. Um but I've got to um uh, got to put in the cornies, one of them is the SJ4 beer. So um we'll see how we go. I'll uh, try and get footage of that. I'm going to do a bit of footage on specifically filling the keg up to where the point of filling it up is on the basis that I saw something on a forum the other day where somebody was asking how you fill a corny keg and where you fill it to. Now, my view of it has always been, you know, five mil or thereabouts below the um, the gas inlet point. So I'll, uh, I'll try and get that on, on uh, video and uh, include that as part of the, uh, part of, or part of a um, update. But, um, yeah, it's a nice beer.
Anyway, enough of my ramblings. Happy every Wednesday.